Hello, Leslie here with what? A new planner? Yes. Um, so I did film a little, we'll see if I get it together, but I did practice blogging this week. Um, and it was me picking out this planner. So, um, <laughs> you might see that like later after this video has already gone up. That's fine. So it's a 2022 planner. They already started putting them in at Joann's. Um, I haven't really seen them anywhere else. When they did the fall release, I know it's on the website, the Abby Planner website. Um, I saw this one and I was like, oh, I like it. And if you scroll to the bottom of the listing on the Happy Planner website, it'll tell you what stores it should be sold in. Like if it's an exclusive at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So if you're spying one, then there's some that are just exclusive to the Happy Planner website, um, which is what happened to me last year. There was one I really wanted that was a Happy Planner website exclusive and I never got, got it together to buy. So, but I really like this one. So it has kind of like a rose gold um, disc here. They aren't metal, they're plastic, which is fine. They were doing a sale. I think it was like 50% off. So I want to say I, the planner was like $20, $21.99, I think. So it is a 12 month planner. It is a vertical layout. Let's go ahead and pull this off because I don't need it anymore. But I want to show you how new it was. Um, so it has this marbling and then rose gold foil on the front. And then here we flip it over and it says live in the moment and it has all these like geometric shapes on there. And then you always have this little card that says like, welcome to the happy planner. And then talks about what a vertical layout is and then tells you to go look at Facebook. Okay. And then also like, obviously they're on social media because every company is. This one says, hello, this happy planner belongs to just like every other one. And then there's that like circle thing. This reminds me of those like stickers that I called the thumbprint stickers, which apparently someone else calls them the band-aid stickers. And then it says plan a happy life 2022. So I need to make my vinyl name probably in rose gold. And then we open up to this page and we have kind of an overview. I like this. It says set your goals for like this year and then goes ahead and like shows next year as well. So you're getting both to look at ahead of time. So that's kind of nice. The paper quality seems good. And then there's like little polka dots here. Little polka dots. All right, I don't use this page much. Um, I have written in it before, just like birthdays or something. Um, but if you're wanting to write down something that you're grateful for every day, that's a good one. I don't know, what else do you guys use this for? I would love to know the little like daily monthly list. Okay, so those all look the same. It does highlight what weekends, what are weekends. All right, so let's start off in January. So the like dashboard or I don't know what you want to call it, planner setup page um, for January, you have like graph paper right here and then you have dot grid over here and then you have priorities and goals and then there's lines and then it says important dates and then they list some for you because it's a calendar so they have to. <laughs> so you have New Year's Day and you have Martin Luther King Jr. Day already written in there. Um, and then our divider here is kind of gray and it says find the beauty in simplicity, which basically this is a very like simplistic planner, which is what I usually go for because I want it to go with whatever stickers I want to put in it. Um, but I usually I gravitate towards some of those fun covers. Um, I wanted the Miss Maker sticker book, but that wasn't there at the store. So, but that cover is also really pretty. So here's the monthly view. I'm liking it. These are boxed off, which is kind of nice. I don't have a color going down the weekends. That's what I really don't like. Um, and then you've got some holidays written in there for you already. And then the note section is just lines. This over here is just like black and white polka dot. Not going to contrast with anything I'm doing. So I like that. Very simplistic font as well. Um, you know me. I'll probably add washi to the side if I don't have a kit. So I don't think it'll be any issue whatsoever. Here's the weekly view. Okay, so I always like to start in my new planner on the first of the year, so I usually stop. I don't usually film this week in last year's planner. Um, I go ahead and start filming in the new one. It looks like we have dot grid here, and then it says this week's list, which is good for me because I usually put like a shopping list down here. And then the boxes don't have header lines. That was what drew me to this particular planner because I wanted it to not have those lines that I'm always having to cover up. Or I try to like make it like they go with my spread, even though we all know they don't. Um, the font's really cute. I have, I think it's pretty decent for still putting down like a date cover and then using that number if you want to. Um, I like this particular style of font as well. It's kind of like pinned in there. All right, so weekly spreads are pretty much the same, right? So we just need to flip to the dashboards. So here's our dividers. I mean dividers. It says growth is growth no matter how small. Man, that touches. That hits. That hits. <laughs> it 
doesn't it? <laughs> All right, and then we'll go to March. Ooh, this one's foiled, and it looks like paint behind it. Above all, be kind, work hard, stay humble, be thankful always, never stop learning, and love. That's a lot. That's a lot right there. <laughs> that is a lot, but all good, all good. And then this is foiled as well. I love that. March is our anniversary, so I like the, and love. March is our wedding anniversary, so I like that a lot. All right, I don't know when our spring break is or anything like that just yet. I haven't looked. <laughs> I should. All right, here's the next divider. Let your ideas bloom. It's kind of interesting. They said let your ideas bloom, and then it's splotches of watercolor. Because there's not florals, but I feel like florals always goes with that quote. That quote so some watercolor florals might have been nice. This one's kind of a periwinkle, kind of a purplish periwinkle color for April. I like that. Um, this one does have lines right here. I don't know if the other one did. No, those were dots. So this one has lines, like just little stripey lines. Honestly, don't mind it. I don't think it's, as long as it's not a color or a real dramatic pattern, like if there was like animal print, unless you really love animal print and you want that to go with every spread. But, um, so it looks like for April, it's stripes. Did I not notice? Hold on. March was dots. Oh, February was stripes. So it alternates. Okay. Okay. Just now noticing four months in. It's fine. It's fine. All right, here's May. <laughs> May is done in kind of a gold color, but not foiled. At first, I thought it might be foiled. It says, always be kind and brave, and then has kind of like a little, that paint, like, swiping. It totally reminds me of, like, the 90s, though. Like, hotel and Taco Bell decor in the 90s. I don't know why, but it does. So, there it is. All right, here's our monthly for May. And then we have June here. It says golden. Kindness is golden. I was like, what? <laughs> Just realized kindness is golden. I like that. That's my birthday month. So that's kind of fun. I've thought about redoing these. Like just taking cardstock and like doing my own dividers. I mean, I think it's pretty, but have you guys ever done that? I don't know. I've seen people franken plan and just take all of their monthly spreads out as well. Okay, July is foiled. Allow yourself to grow. And then it's got the watercolors kind of like copper and brown tones so if you're like oh gosh this is the dividers are too neutral but like for me I was like that's okay it's more of like I wanted my individual spreads to be what I wanted this one says live in the moment it's kind of like a two-tone thing with the line down the middle it's got some green going on for August that's for August and then September we're back to like periwinkle focus on what matters they're very big into what is this shape? A rounded rectangle, I guess. We've said Band-Aid and we've said Thumbprint <laughs> so far. <laughs> I'm not sure what shape it is. All right. For October, foiled. And it says, I am creating the life of my dreams. Yes. Hopefully 2022, going back to school and working on getting my master's. Yeah. I'm going to be trying to create the life of my dreams. All right. And then November, we're almost done. We're almost done. November is kind of like a painted background on some canvas. And it says, a new day, a new start. I feel like that's an interesting quote for towards the end of the year. I don't know. Is that just me? I feel like it's an interesting quote for <laughs> end of the year. I'm like, well, yeah, it's a new day, but the year's almost over. <laughs> All right, December says, pay attention to your thoughts. I think that's good during the holiday season. You know, like recentering your thoughts and things like that are probably a good idea. I think my divider here is not. Yeah, it's not sucked down. It's peeling off. I'll have to glue it back down. <laughs> that doesn't bother me so much. I just realized it was kind of puffy. The other ones are like nice and smooth and flat. But this for some reason didn't get laminated down all the way. I'll fix it. This is kind of gray purple. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, I don't know what that is. Piece of plastic. Oh, for me, piece of plastic. It's probably from the divider tab. I don't know. All right, and then we flip to the very end, see what's going on. So this will be, this is going to be weird because the majority of the week is still in the previous year, but because it has the first in it, I always like to jump into the new one. All right, the back page is always a notes page. Um, they did dot grid, and this one has like watercolor splashes all over it. And then they always have plan a happy life on that back page. And then the thing is, I really like doing these flip throughs because I like watching them 
because when you go into the store, they wrap the middle in plastic. And then honestly, this one was hanging up. So it was also wrapped in another thing of plastic and you couldn't really flip through. So honestly, when I was double checking and making sure that I wanted this spread, this is the picture I got. But notice it doesn't show the lines or the dots that are in between here. And it doesn't show the like little circle thing that they had going on that said this week's list and that this is dot grid and this is lined. It doesn't show that. And then it also has a box that says note that this picture does not match the spread that's inside. So I get that they're just showing you it's a vertical layout, but that's why I feel like flip throughs are always so helpful um, because you don't want to like tear it up when you're in the store, you know, and like be able to see everything, but you do want to know what you're buying. So, um, but you can see a little bit of views on the Happy Planner website as well. So you can check that out, but there you go. So that is my planner for 2022, which means I have my Erin Condren ready to go and I have this one and then my dashboard planner um, was a 18 month planner. So I'll be having that in my lineup still as well. And then I'll have the teacher planner. So I'm excited. I'm excited for 2022 already. I know I feel like it's too early to talk about it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what happy planner you're trying to decide on. Let me know the layout or the color or theme. I would love to know. I love to know what people are planning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.